Hey guys, I saw the new Judd Apatow movie, and just like every other Judd Apatow movie, it is about 45 minutes too long, starring a comedian almost playing themselves. But just like every other Judd Apatow movie, it is sweet, it's fun to watch, it's cute, it's funny in parts, it's also very deeply depressing in others. This is the king of Staten Island. Now, if you don't know anything about Pete Davidson, his father died during 9-11. He was a firefighter. And this movie, he wrote with Judd Apatow and another friend, and they wrote it about Pete Davidson's upbringing. It's ba he's basically playing himself if he didn't find comedy, if he kind of sat and did nothing his whole life. It's, it's a different, it's like an alternate universe of Pete Davidson, directed by Judd Apatow, who made 40-Year-Old Virgin Knocked Up, produced basically every comedy that stars Seth Rogen or Bill Hader and makes a ton of money. Bridesmaids, especially Bridesmaids, that made so much money. I am a big, big fan of Judd Apatow. He, I love, like he, he's known for having a lot of improv. Like they have a script, but his movies are almost two and a half hours long, almost every single time, because he relies on improv. And in order for the improv to get the jokes out, they also have to push the story forward, which makes really long scenes. His most notorious one is one of my favorite movies, Funny People. It could easily be cut by 30 minutes. And this movie is, it doesn't suffer from that as much, but there's definitely, there's a couple scenes in there where it kind of drags, just like every other Judd Apatow movie, but it pays off. Pete Davidson plays Scott. He's, again, himself, essentially. His sister goes off to college and he stays at home in Staten Island with his mother. He's a 26-year-old man who doesn't really do much. He stays at home with his mother. He tattoos. He wants to have, he wants to have his own restaurant tattoo business called Ruby Tattoos Days. I, that's... I think that's kind of a gross idea, but also I think it could work. It's good enough to me. This movie is, for the most part, kind of aimless, which is just like Pete Davidson's character. And like other Judd Apatow movies, like we, we have a story, we have a plot, but it takes its time. I'm a big fan of improv and Judd Apatow just lets his actors do whatever they want for the most part. It brings out gold. Pete Davidson, will explode because of this. I guarantee it. He's going to leave SNL and he's going to go to movies. If he doesn't, he should. He is very, very good in this movie. Granted, he's, he's, he's playing himself, so he shouldn't be too hard to do, but him, Marissa Tomei is hilarious. Bill Burr is the MVP of this movie. He steals the movie almost from Pete Davidson. Dee Buscemi is in this, which is a cool thing because not only is he a great actor, but also he was a volunteer firefighter for 9-11 too. So it's a nice little nod to that. This movie isn't exactly a comedy. It's not a drama. It's a lot like funny people. This is more a drama that happens to be funny and stars funny people. Funny people. So out of 10 fire trucks, I would give this an eight. This is not Judd Apatow's best movie, but it's definitely my favorite movie of the year so far, granted. A lot of the movies haven't come out yet, so we'll, we'll see how this stacks up at the end of the year. But as of right now, this is my favorite movie of the year. Judd Apatow is great because he finds actors and comedians as friends, really, who have great stories, and he leads them to their story. He, like Amy, Amy Schumer's movie, Trainwreck, that's partly an autobiography about Amy Schumer. There's love and there's crashing. He's great at finding comedians who basically play themselves and allow them to tell their story and Judd Apatow is just in charge of it. Is this movie worth 20 bucks to rent? I believe it is. Granted, it is a little long. It feels that occasionally, but that's nothing new for Judd Apatow movies. Everyone complains about it. This is my favorite movie of the year so far, but I will find out in December eventually once everything just explodes.